Today we're interviewing a care owner and product developer, Darren Bibi, about his air curtain hard head patent. I'm Pimani Baloi. Darren, please tell me more about AQ's airhead. How does it work? When was it developed? And what does it aim to do? Thank you, Pimani. We had a, an idea that I think we took a little bit from the past, a little bit from the future. Mm -hmm. And we tried to combine what was a known idea of an air curtain, mm -hmm. combined it with a bit of Star Wars, and we, we thought of something new. Mm -hmm. we, th we thought about trying to put a person in a protective barrier mm -hmm. of clean air. One of the things that we were finding in the mines is that people were overexposed to dust. Mm -hmm. And we thought about what started out as a really simple idea mm -hmm. of put a person in an air curtain. An air curtain is something that provides an invisible barrier. You see them in the, the, the shops as you walk through, mm -hmm. you get this curtain of air. Mm -hmm. So that was a pretty known principle. Mm -hmm. But we thought it was a bit wild to put it around a person's Please. helmet, mm -hmm. uh, in, on their helmet. Mm -hmm. And so we developed what we've come up with now as the airhead ring, mm -hmm. which fits onto a standard hard hat and if we provide the air in the right quantity up the back, we develop this. What you'll see here is there's holes surrounding 360 degrees, mm -hmm. and this will create that perfect air curtain barrier mm -hmm. to dust and fumes. Mm -hmm. But this is a new concept, having an air curtain around somebody's face. So what measures have you put in place to protect it from duplication and other thiefery? We have gone through a whole design patent We've gone through a full patent and we've even registered a trademark against the name Airhead. Okay, but tell me, what do you think this means for South Africa? This is the first facial air curtain and it, it's, it has been developed, designed and everything here in the country. What do you think it means for the, the, the country's manufacturing and developing capabilities? We're smart here. We are really smart guys in South Africa and I, I think it's a tragedy that we are not considered an innovation country. Mm. I think we have got lazy and we've allowed the Germans to do our thinking and our Chinese are manufacturing mm. and we have it here. We have so much to offer mm. the world in terms of innovation. Mm. I think it's just a question that people need to make that step. We took that step from a very simple idea. It costs a lot of money mm. to get products like this on the market. Mm. And it takes a lot of time. It's taken us two and a half years to develop this product. Mm. There are a lot of hoops to jump through, but it's so exciting. Mm. Uh, who wants to copy? Who wants to do what everyone else is doing? And we've, we've been developing products like this for, for quite some time now. And I think it's the way forward for South Africa to start waking up, man up and become innovators. Because I think the world's waiting for somebody to come up with new stuff. Oh, thank you so much, Darren. That was AQ owner, Darren Bibi.